What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we are making some chicken wings Miami style on the Blackstone. What do I mean Miami style? I'm talking Latin flavors, all right? We're gonna hit it up with some Latin spices that I'm gonna tell you all about. And we are gonna marinate in mojo criollo. This stuff is like liquid gold when it comes to Latin flavor. So if you've ever had roast pork Cuban style, this is what it tastes like right here. So this stuff is money. We're also gonna finish it off with a ranch chimichurri that's gonna be absolutely outstanding. If you're new to the channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, I wanna thank you for all your support. Please keep hitting that thumbs up and leaving comments below. Everybody, let's get cooking. So let's go through our marinade for our chicken wings Miami style. Sazon Tropical from Badia. This is an awesome Latin seasoning. There's a link in the description below. Uh, and then Mojo Criollo from Iberia. This is my go-to Spanish marinade. I've used it so many times. It's awesome. Again, link in the description below. That's what it looks like after 24 hours. Next up, we've got ranch dressing and chimichurri, okay? This is so easy. It's ridiculous. It's half ranch, half chimichurri. And that's it. Uh, not sure what to call it yet. Still trying to figure out a name for it. Chimichurri Ranch, Chimmy Ranch, not sure. But this is my favorite chimichurri from Gaucho Ranch. And again, one part ranch, one part chimichurri. In this case, three tablespoons of each. Give it a little stir. And this is what it comes up with. And it tastes phenomenal. Beautiful. So we oil up the blackstone, get it nice and prepped up, nice and heated. Ready for our wings, okay? So you want to bring these out about a half an hour before you put them down on the grill or griddle. And um, you also don't want to try to just, you don't want to dump the entire thing because then you're going to have all that marinade all over the place. It's not a big deal, but it just lowers the temperature of the griddle and it takes a little bit longer to cook the wings. So just kind of pull them out without dumping as much uh, or with dumping as least amount of marinade as you can, I should say. So we get the wings on the griddle. You can hear the sizzle. And the aroma from that mojo is just absolutely ridiculous. So you want to just kind of spread them around cover it with the black stone lid if you don't have the lid get a dome uh, you can find them at Walmart and that's it you want to cook them for about four or five minutes turn them over you got to be careful with this this marinade here because it does burn <laughs> um, it's got some sugars in it which is gonna make it burn so you can see the really dark marks there not a big deal not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination <clears throat> you just turn them over and the dark spots actually come off really easy and um, it gives it a ton of flavor so we give it a little bit more oil here a little more um, less friction on the grill so kind of stir them around there in the oil a little bit get them nice and situated and then cover them again so now we're gonna check them on a little bit quicker maybe like every two minutes now at this point because we do not want these things to get all too burnt on the outside and that's why we're kinda checking them a little bit quicker here this time we used our spatula and Kind of, there you can see see the dark spots we're taking them off there no big deal no need to panic they're not ruined <laughs> this is actually gonna give them tremendous flavor so we just take off any kind of dark spots that are too dark that look burnt and then we're gonna scrape off the griddle right there which is no big deal it happens very quickly and that's what you look like afterwards still looks phenomenal so that's it we turned down the griddle okay uh, if 
you have it on too high, that's what you're going to get the burn mark. So turn it down a little bit. At this point, I get it on low. There's no need to rush these. Uh, just turn them down. Actually, the the ones that look are that are looking more darker than others, I move them over to the right, um, just to kind of get them out of the way here, so they're not getting any darker on the outside, I should say. But I realized once you turn them down, that's it. They really stop getting black, the blackish color. It just they they just continue to get brown, but not black. So. Uh, the key is to go on the lower heat here for these style chicken wings. So we just keep turning them and turning them and kind of got getting them evened out. Uh, again, over to the right for the ones that look like they're more done than the others. And then over to the left for the ones that look like they still need to get cooked a little bit more. Now this is the eyeball test. So the ones on the right look more done than the ones on the left. Right? <laughs> but watch this. So we've got the ones over there. We've got the ones on the left where the heat's... On the right side, the heat's basically turned off. We just kind of have them over there just chilling out. So we're going to check the temperatures. They're not done. That's why you have a internal thermometer like the Inkbird. Thanks again, Mia. So the Inkbird here, we're checking the internal temps. We have to get to 165 with any kind of chicken. So they're not, eh, they're close, but they're not that close. 148 is not close enough. So... Now we're going to kind of move everything together, and we're going to have to continue cooking these. So we just kind of get them in a big grouping. They look beautiful. The outside looks beautiful. Nice little crust to them. But obviously we need to get the internal to 165. So... We get that last sucker right there and stick it right in the middle <laughs> and get it covered with the grill dome. This grill dome is a better cover than just the flipped lid from the Blackstone on the on the uh, 22 inch. So we let it sit there for a couple minutes, take it off, uh, check the temp again on these and you can see they're still not done. Okay, it takes a little bit of time. So you just have to be patient. Now we have it to a setting that it's not burning the bottom anymore. And you can see some of them are done, some of them are not. That one's a 170. This one's a 170. So it seems like the the flappers are getting done quicker than the drumettes, which is usually the case anyway. So we take off the flappers uh, because those are pretty much done. And then we... Leave the big fat drumettes back on, give them a little bit of a steam, and we check them one more time. Right here, and let's see where they at. Yeah, now we're getting there. 160. Wings are done. Let's go check them out. We got some chicken wings, Miami style. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this beautiful dish. We've got our chicken wings marinated in mojo criollo and some nice Latin seasoning on them. And we've got our chimichurri ranch. Chimmy ranch? Hmm, that could be a name. I don't know. You heard it first here on Big Cat 305. So, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's looking good. The mojo criollo smells absolutely amazing. Uh, we're gonna give it one quick close up before we get started. So here we go. Mm. 
yeah, they definitely look tasty. Uh, we are gonna dig in because, oh my goodness, that looks so, so good. I don't know, I'm gonna pick the one right smack dab in the middle. Look at the color on that thing, beautiful. We're gonna try this sauce, oh yeah. Mmm. Perfectly cooked. Mmm, 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 mmm. The flavor of the moho is outstanding. If you guys have never tried moho, you gotta give it a shot. It's so good. That garlic, that lime, that cilantro, the onion, everything that comes together. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. That is phenomenal. Outstanding. Excelente. I love it. So, everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.